Have you ever wondered how a 20-year-old became the world's best defender? Well, get ready, because we're about to unveil the inspiring story of Yoshiko Vardiol, the rising star already making history. But first, picture this. A young boy who, from a tender age, had a unique passion for football. Yoshiko wasn't just an ordinary talent, but a goal-hungry defender who stood out right from the start. Let's dive into how Yoshiko Vardiol went from kicking the ball around as a kid to becoming Becoming one of the world's best defenders. What a player, what a challenge that RB Leipzig had. What a fantastic view! Yoshko Vardiol's journey to being the world's best defender had humble beginnings. It all started when he was just seven years old. His father, Tiamir, who had been an amateur football player in his hometown of Novigrad, introduced him to the world of football. They headed to Treshnevka, where Yoshka's love for the game was born. From the very beginning, Yoshka's talent was evident. His first coach, Vedran Petric, recalls he took the ball as a defender, went forward, and scored a goal. What's important is that, as a seven-year-old, he wasn't afraid to play with his head. Even when young, Yoshka displayed remarkable skills and fearlessness on the field setting the stage for his incredible journey. But Yoshko Vardiol's journey from a small apartment in Zagreb to becoming one of the most sought-after defenders in the world is not just a story of footballing talent. It's a story of humility, grounded values, and the deep connection he maintains with his roots. Growing up in the Srednyachi district of Zagreb, Yoshko shared his early days with family and friends, who remember him as down-to-earth and friendly. During his younger years, Yoshko often helped his father, Tiamir, who worked as a fisherman and sold fish at the Dolak market. He said, after training, I would visit my father at the stand and help him. Now I'm glad and proud that I could help him that way. And also, because now that I have a good contract, I can appreciate every coin, Vardiol said. This experience taught him the value of hard work and family support. Yoshka's willingness to assist his father after training left a lasting impression, and it was a way for him to show his gratitude for everything his family had provided. During an interview, he mentioned, My dad is a fisherman. I mostly ate sardines and loved eating a lot of fish. And that's why I turned out this way. Handsome, tall, and strong. I spent a lot of time at sea in Novigrad by Zadar. And I had a great time with my grandma Milka and grandpa Zvonko. The boy who is grateful to his parents said, At the age of eight, Dinamo Zagreb recognized his potential and made him an offer he couldn't refuse. But other clubs wanted a piece of his footballing talent too. When he was 15, scouts from Milan's intern noticed Yoshko and tried to bring him in. However, he, his family, and his manager decided to turn down that offer and build his career slowly, modestly, without skipping any steps. His time at Dinamo was marked by dedication and hard work, and it wasn't long before his talent became undeniable. He won over Dinamo fans when he scored a goal at the age of 17, and after the match, he returned home by tram. He mentioned that he felt uncomfortable asking his teammates for a ride because he wasn't close to them. So instead, he took the tram. And that was where the fans recognized him. According to his mother, it's no surprise that Yoshko took the tram after the match. It wasn't his first time. He took the tram whenever both of his parents couldn't give him a ride. His parents were working, so they couldn't always drive him. After the match and his goal, Yoshko was happy. But you know, he's very humble, said his mother, Sanja. Yoshko's career continued to ascend, and he eventually transitioned to RB Leipzig in Germany. This decision was a testament to his thoughtfulness and determination to build his career steadily without skipping any steps. As he reflected on this journey, Yoshka shared his humble beginnings, underlining that he's always been more focused on playing football than the luxuries of life. However, his dedication to his family remained unwavering in a heartwarming gesture. He bought them a house after signing with a German club, allowing them to choose the home they desire. Their new house near Zagreb includes a garden, a feature that his mother highly values. Yoshka's relationship with his parents, particularly his mother, showcases the strong family bonds that have shaped his values. He performed exceptionally well when he could prove himself in the national team, especially in the game against Belgium. 
magic on the field. Whether he has the ball at his feet or tirelessly carries it from the defensive position to create new opportunities. Nevertheless, the moment when he cleared the ball off Lukaku's foot in the penalty area in the last millisecond, without even blinking, will be talked about for generations. On September 28, Joško Vardiol signed a five-year contract for Bundesliga club RB Leipzig. The transfer fee was an impressive 60 million euros, making him the most expensive Croatian teenager ever and the third highest paid Croatian defender in history, behind Dejan Lovren and Dujek Chaleta Char. Despite the move, he remained with Dinamo for the season. Joško Vardial had accomplished remarkable feats with RB Leipzig. He helped the club win the DFB Pokal and reach the semi-finals of the Europa League, marking a historic moment in the club's history. The DFB Pokal victory was particularly significant, as it was the first major trophy title in the history of RB Leipzig. His standout performances did not go unnoticed. On August 12, France Football announced Vardiol as one of the prestigious 2022 Copa Trophy nominations, reflecting his rising star status in the footballing world. He eventually finished in sixth place. In August 2023, Joško Vardiol took the next step in his journey by signing with Premier League giants Manchester City. The signing was announced on August 5, marking a five-year deal with the club. He became the third Croatian to join Manchester City's first team, following in the footsteps of Vedran Cholucha and Mateja Kovacic. Although the transfer fee remains undisclosed, reports suggested it was around 77 million pounds or 90 million euros, making Joško Vardiol the most expensive defender in the world. His inclusion in the Ballon d'Or nominations in September 2023 was a testament to the rapid rise of this young Croatian talent. It is essential to mention that he had three big dreams, to play for Dinamo, later for the national team, and then somewhere in England. He has achieved all three, with the last being Manchester City. So if you ever doubted the power of dreams, Joško Vardiel's story is proof that you can achieve greatness with passion, humility, and dedication. Stay tuned for more incredible stories like this right here on our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.